Hello people. Many of you already know I love 1911 handguns. So I have something here, actually two things here. I'm betting even the most seasoned of you collectors probably have never seen before. So first and most obviously we have the first military tactical flashlight. This was created by an American soldier uh, during the Vietnam War in Vietnam. Um, so you would, uh, a lot of people would call this a, a workshop creation, which is uh, something that was created during a war effort for, you know, for a necessity, to fill a necessity. And of course, the necessity for this was uh, for a tunnel rat. Uh, a lot of these soldiers had to crawl through these tunnels uh, with a 45 in one hand and a and a flashlight in the other. And so, um, by the end of the war, uh, these were um, probably very desirable. The gentleman who sold this to me is the one who built it, and uh, I can't tell you what his name is, but he said he made about a thousand of them before he retired, and this was the only one that he had kept, and uh, I, I found it for sale online and bought it from him for next to nothing, practically, and I, I feel honored because uh, I, I feel like this is a really important piece of military history uh, that very few people know about. That's very intimidating from, from, from the front view, isn't it? So I've done a lot of research about this flashlight and I, I, I honestly I've come up short. Uh, the only thing I find are these photos sent to me by a friend when I used to have a count on uh, facial book but I don't anymore um, it's really interesting because this second picture here clearly shows the black paint is starting to wear revealing the blue plastic beneath just like we have here so it's very interesting. It's probably the exact same creation, I'm, I'm sure. So the second thing that I'm betting you've probably never seen is that. Well, that's a Bridgeport rig. That's what they call it. And this is the, uh, the other half. This needs to be mounted to a belt, and this this has never been used before. Now, I don't know if this grip part was made by the company or by somebody after the fact, but the gen again, somebody who sold this to me at a gun show um, told me that this was actually a factory device, that they, they manufactured this to be on a 1911 handgun, which is very, very awkward. <laughs> this is my recreation of the Bridgeport rig. Uh, first invented in 1882, patented January 17th, 1882, by Louis Flateau in Texas, a sheriff there. It was facilitated to, uh, as a gun holder to uh, hold your pistol and to allow you easier access to it. As you can see, it fits into the little slot, a little hole here, and allows you to take it out much quicker than a holster or, if you're um, stupid enough, to actually fire it from the hip. I guess it worked for some people on revolvers and when the 1911 came out they probably thought that that it was going to work really well but um, I have to suggest that this is probably a little 
a little less than safe. Let's just put it that way. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day.